Is someone coming up? Is that the elevator right here? Yeah, he's gonna blow me. I think so too, man. He wants to blow out my candle. This is what no longer wants to be turned on, though. Yeah, he wants to blow the candle, Henra. One thing I didn't think of is how I was gonna get back. Do I just jump into the water? I guess so. Okay, so we've disabled the scary thing over there in the distance, but I, hmm. The, s <laughs> the town is circular, man, it's... Where was that? Okay, we'll make another loop into town. It's very dark here now. I heard people walking here upstairs previously. No longer the case. Huh! Ah! Ah! Okay. Seems like we've lost him. I don't know, Ryan. We'll go the other way? Okay. So I have to go down, right? We don't have a whole lot of time anymore, though. Yikes. Elevator went back up. Guys. Uh, am I supposed to get past that guy? Yeah, I'm streaming today, Motlesses. Instead of tomorrow. <sighs> I don't think I have enough time, but we can try again. Hey, nice, Conscious. Glad you enjoyed it. Uh, I do want to make sure, by the way, that I'm off at 8 p.m. today. Yo, have a good one with drink gas.
Okay, so I have to get past the scary guy. <gasps> Yikes. Walking around without a light on is not smart. Yo, what's up, Defuni? I know there's a guy here somewhere, man. Is he gonna walk by? Maybe? Fuck. Dude, not again! Can we play a ring around to Rosie? I think we just did. Okay, we are going downstairs. <sighs> okay, progress, progress. But I think we're just about to be reset though. I think the loop is just about to reset. I need to be fast here because I don't know what we're looking for. Is the guy still chasing me? I don't know, don't care. Uh, I did not turn on the less scary setting. No, there is a setting to make the game less scary, but... This game is too scary for me. Dude, like it mine. is kind of scary now, not gonna lie. Thank you for the seven. Bro, there's more. If you catches you, what happens? He blows up my candle when I wake up. We're currently in a vision. I have to get across. Oh no, dude. Why is this so scary? Holy shit, man. Why the fuck did they make it scary? Ah! Who oh, fuck me? Jeez. <gasps> okay. I don't like this part either, man. I gotta reset the loop. The problem is you're timed, right? Like that's the issue. So like this entire I just spent half an hour getting to this point, and now I gotta go back there again. Technically speaking, I should be able to get there faster now because I roughly know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. But I don't. Whew. Okay, fast. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I actually really dislike this part, this Karenus. It isn't my favorite so far. I think I like the beginning of this DLC the best. <laughs> You looked up guides on the paths, because you couldn't handle it. Right.
Okay, pick up the artifact. At least we really learned the world here. The way that everything is laid out and stuff. I don't know how I'm gonna try and get past that guy. We play Ring Around to Rosie, I guess? I don't know. Nope. Oh, God. Will I make this? Ooh, okay. Just barely. Like, initially, the discovery of this Ring World section was really sick. But it's gotten a little bit more tedious overall. Maybe also because I have been making a lot of mistakes. And like, I've been forced to like, redo everything like a lot of the time. Like I was doing just now, you know? Like I don't really know if that counts as a mistake, because I don't know how I could have known to do that any better, but... I now have to go and do the exact same sequence of events again, just to get to the point I was already at. It's a bit annoying. Yeah, but I don't know how I can be more sneaky. Like, I, it's it's pitch black. I <laughs> I can't see where I'm supposed to go. I have to try and somehow get around him, I guess. And figure out how he does it, but... I like what his AI is and how he walks. Okay. I don't know. I am curious, actually. So there is a... In our dead zone? No, no, no. Reduced frights. What does that do? No, I don't want to turn it on. But it's... I don't know. Maybe there's going to be less scary, guys? Let's go down T for Samuel. Do I even need to do this part like that? I don't need to do anything here, right? Yeah. This is, I think, only for whatever comes after this. We found out that all of those zones are connected, but... Okay, we go down over here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the fact that they've included the non-scary mode is actually kind of cool. I agree. The base game is not scary, though. The base game is... Not very scary. Okay, so now I have to go in here. And we turn off... The lights? That makes them real angry. And then we commit Sudoku over here. Okay. We doze off again? For streaming, you definitely have to not... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. You can't turn the no scary mode on. Unless it gets frustrating. If it gets frustrating, I have, I have no shame, but...
Can I even do it right now, though? Because I have to go through the elevator. I didn't open up this part of the town here because the fucking... I didn't need to. The elevator is on the other side of this... Wait, what? Was it already active? Oh, the door's automatically opened. Oh, I guess it's because all the lights are off. Ah. The lights turned themselves off because of that thing. Right. All of them did. Okay, so this is where one of them is at. Mate, like, how am I supposed to get past these guys reliably? I'm not sure. Can I just sit here with my light off? Is he gonna start looking around? Oh, maybe that's how. Yeah, he sees me again, bro. I didn't even do anything, though. I had my light concealed the entire time. <sighs> There's two of them, though. How in the world am I gonna do that? I have no idea. There's, like, a couple of different paths over there, so maybe you can, like... I think you're supposed to, like, outwalk them or something. Yeah, it's a bait and switch. Yeah, pretty much, but... He fell off? Wait, he fell off? He didn't. Bro. Uh, this is super tedious, right? Any tips on how I can get past that guy? Because, like, this is not very fun. I don't want to do another loop where I have to do the exam exact same half hour again. Like, it, hmm. If anyone has a suggestion how to get past him, that would be really nice. Because I don't know. No, hiding behind a pillar doesn't work, man. I'll just run around it. I can try and run by him, maybe? I need to roast more marshmallows, yeah. I'll actually try and see what happens if I turn that on. Maybe it's gonna make the guy, like, not chase me as aggressively. Maybe it'll make it less tedious. Maybe he's not even here. Okay, stand up behind the pillar, maybe? Okay, I'm moving forward. Oh shit. <laughs> Almost well <laughs> ran into the water. Okay. Okay, he's over there. We we got past the first guy. Okay, there's another guy over here. I don't know exactly where he's at, though. I think there's a, a door right over there. Oh god, there he is. I see his antlers. Yeah, that's the, that's the guy over there. 
No, no, no. Don't walk this way, bro. I don't know how it's less scary, dude. I have no clue. I think that might be slower. Are there... Is there one on this side? Oh, God. There's two. There's one on this side as well. Okay, I think the one that was over here on the left side has moved away right now. So I'm going to try and sneak. I think I can walk straight, but I don't know. Maybe I'll fall down. Fuck me. Okay. This is it. This is it. This is the door. Oh. No, no, no. <sighs> uh! <sighs> okay. What's in here? What is here? What's going on in this place? This has to be it. This is the plate? Yeah, tons of memories in this place. Oh, it's still burned out. Okay. Someone make a clip, please. Never mind. <laughs> I have to have a slight reel first. Okay. It's a very short clip. Okay, here we go. I think this will maybe teach us what the fuck's going on in this world. Okay, so that's the eye of the universe. They fucking love it. They're like, look at it. The eye of the universe. Poggers? They scanned it. They're like, oh my god, we're getting high on the eye of the universe. This is something we've seen ages ago, though. Right, and then they got very angry and they burnt down the church of the eye of the universe. Hold up, what's this? They built something, and they shot a Void Ray at the Eye of the Universe! And then a YOLO demo way? Dude... Did they try to contain it? Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what they tried doing with it, but they tried doing something with it. Protoss players, man, I knew it! Not to be trusted. Okay, next one. This is new. Okay. They have a force field type of thing. It scans their brain, I guess. Okay. Yeah, their brain waves allow them to transport to another place. They're like, Grandpa, go. Grandpa's like, no. Grandpa died. Grandpa's too weak for warping. Maybe not. Wait, was Grandpa too weak or did he just transport there at the last possible second? Oh yeah, no. Grandpa wasn't too weak after all. So he lives in the Emerald Dream now. Maybe it's not the Emerald Dream, I don't know. Yeah, maybe they, like, uploaded their brains or something. That's... Yeah, is this immortality? Is this what we're gonna do, too? Because I'm looking forward to being able to rent a Google Drive space large enough to contain my entire brain. That'd be nice. 
Okay, last one. So they were supposed to wake up. I think when a certain brain activity is detected or something. It's supposed to wake them up. Yeah, yeah. It takes them out of it and they wake up. However, Grandpa over there, I guess. Didn't get there. Grandpa kept on walking. Yeah, did he get like a new body or something? What exactly was that? I don't know. Maybe he was lagging. <sighs> did that really teach me something just now though? I didn't really learn anything that I didn't already know here, right? Okay, so if you go back a little bit. So these, I guess, are the, are the, like, the guys we see walking around these parks. Like, inside of these memories or whatever, these visions, I guess, are the dead people that are trapped here? That must be what it taught me, right? It's, I guess, the people that are trapped, the ones that we've found. That are chilling over here for the rest of eternity, I guess. Not exactly sure how long, but... We see dead people now. Yeah. Okay, I don't think this really teaches us anything that we can go off of right now, though, can we? Does it? Is there anything here that I'm missing? No, I can't get the launch thing to open the door for the other slight reels. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, but nothing that like unlocks a new area for me, right? Like the things I've just looked at over here, the link that like, uh, I mean, this is a new place that we are in right now. But I don't think that this set of slides over here really gives us anything that I want to... Like that I can now unlock a new area with. Unless I miss something. Let's look at them one more time before I, am, you know, ultimately get, get wrecked here. Yeah, so they live in the vision. And they're like, Grandpa, you're kind of old and weak. You can still live in the vision too, but since Gramps was already so old earlier, he still got a little bit of a fire, but now he can't come back. So it's like a one-way trip for Grandpa. Okay. Doesn't seem so New bad. Subscriber hey, thank you, Dicky. Welcome. Okay, they saw the Eye of the Universe. They scanned it. They did something with it. I don't really know what this means. But they saw that they would all die because of it. So maybe they realized that like the eye of the universe was gonna get them all killed somehow, some way? I don't know what this one means, man. What do you guys think means the uh, what do you guys think this is supposed to indicate? I don't really get this one. Yeah, so the eye seems to be doing something that would, I guess, destroy other planets? Because all the other planets over here crumble to dust, it seems. And then everything dies. So I guess they managed to interrupt that somehow? I don't think burning down the church has anything to do with it, but... Yeah, maybe it was like a complete eclipse. 
So they created like a void ray looking device that like encapsulated it, that prevented that from happening. And then they were like, yo, we're out of here. The Nomai received the signal from the Eye of the Universe, I guess? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And they contained it, so it won't emit signals again. Hmm. Yeah, they blocked the signal. Now I don't have my artifact anymore. Oh, okay, I was gonna say. I'm trying to remember exactly what it is uh, the Eye of the Universe did. I did play the main game, yes, but it's been a little while. Uh, it's been a little while. I'm trying to remember exactly why the Eye of the Universe was bad. <sighs> why was it bad again? Does anyone know? Yeah, the Nomai didn't think it was bad, was it? Okay, we took the elevator back up. Hey, dude. But yeah, they got here because they were emitting a signal. And I guess they prevented that from happening and they decided to then live happily ever after inside of their... It's a bit hard to say. Alright. I think we'll go ahead and wake up. Yeah, so these guys are no longer waking up. But their flames are still on. Could we... Blow out their flames? That would help. Hello. They never found it, they just wanted to find it. You learn the main game that it destroys the entire... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess these guys at the very least stopped the signal from being sent out? I don't think I have enough time to go check out the other one too. No, I don't think this planet is the container now. Okay, so I thought that that was gonna give us um, something else we could do in this playthrough, if that makes any sense. But it was just, I guess, a story-driven part. The DLC is a long one, uh, Integral 1. I mean, if you play like me, it's a long one. I don't know how long the average person takes to complete. Or to complete the DLC, but it's taken me a uh, pretty while. A pretty long while. And we're still not done yet. I have no idea how many hours I've played this for, but definitely more than 6 to 12. I don't know, how many hours do you reckon I've played this? I can probably see on Steam how many hours I've played over the last couple of weeks. Um, it says I've played 35 hours in total, but... I don't know how much I've played over the last few weeks. 
I'm definitely on the longer end of things, though. Pretty sure this loop is just about to end, but... We can try and see if we can find the chair somewhere. Uh, I like the base game a little bit better than this one, I think, overall, yeah. Not because this is bad or whatever, it's just, uh... It's just long. Like, basically, in the base game, you spent... 20 hours or so on, like, seven different planets. And they all have their own little mystery, and there's this, like, overarching story and stuff. But in this one, it's a little more... It's just one storyline, but it's, I don't know, it's a little more tedious overall. Maybe also because there's not really any other things that I can go and do right now, you know? Like, there's only really one set of changes I can make. And that's to this one area. Yeah, it seems a bit harder to follow. Also because it's a little more vague, I guess. Ah, there were plenty of vague things in the first one, too. Um, anyway, so there's this set of chairs with an invisible bridge. I don't know where the... So this is where the... Yeah, this is the invisible bridge right over there, but that's not what I'm referring to. In that clip, in the vision that we saw, on one of the slide reels, there was a set of chairs, and then the guy just walked across it. If I have to do the entire area here, though, it's gonna take me a bit too long, I think, to do it right now. Because I'm pretty sure the death music is gonna be here pretty quick. Hey, this is the chairs. Ah, it's over here! Okay. This should be an invisible bridge, unless I'm an idiot. I believe I can fly! I'm pissing them off again. Yo, what's going on, buddy Warren? There's some angry people in sight. I don't really know where the game wants me to go, though. <laughs> like, this house is kind of big. Is there a door that's now available? Is it this one? Nope. How the fuck am I gonna dodge this guy on a staircase? I'm sitting in a little room right next to the door, but... Or right next to the stairs, but I think... I think the loop is just about to end, man. How is the loop not ended yet? Going? Oh shit, I was walking against a wall. No, that's the death music! What? What's the point of this area? I can go out on the roof. I can go out on the roof, now what? Okay.
Nice. I wanted to explore the death music in its full glory. Not entirely sure what the part of... Or what that part right there is supposed to signify. Maybe it's also just information. I'm hoping this entire story will come together, though, and at some point that I'll be like, you know, at some point that I'll know exactly what's going on. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> I'm hoping there's going to be this mind-blowing moment where I will be, you know, it's on par with the base game. Okay. All right, the base game was really good when everything finally came together. So I'm hoping that that's going to be the case over here too. New subscribe. Yo, thank you, name choosing. Thank you. Okay, so I don't know if my dude made any notes in his book. You think this one's even better? Okay. New subscriber. Detected. Hey, did you chem dog? So we know that their brains have been transported to like that vision, realm, shadowy, whatever's going on. I'm just curious whether or not my dude made any notes in the um, in the book or in the in the ship. That's the last thing I'm doing for today. Okay. The Forbidden Archive. A library full of intact slide reels hidden deep underground. There's a container marked with one of the vault seals, but its contents have been destroyed. I found a slide reel that shows the strange inhabitants analyzing the eye of the universe. Intact slides reveal the construction and launch of a spacecraft designed to block the eye signal. I found a slide reel that shows two artifacts being lit near a green fire. The first artifact lights after its bearer falls asleep, and the second artifact lights after its bearer dies. Oh, they died. Okay. I found a slight reel that appears to be some sort of error report. It shows an alarm bell failing to wake up one of the stranger's inhabitants. Right. So this one, I don't really know how to do it. We have to somehow some way bait them, I guess, out of that room. I don't know how to do it. And then this one. Yeah, this is what we have to discover, New I think, next time. Detected. Alrighty, guys. Welcome back to Outer Wilds Echo of the Eye. This is the DLC for Outer Wilds, which has been pretty good so far. I still think I prefer the main game. The main game was a little bit more enjoyable. Mostly because the Echoes of the Eye takes place in the same place over and over and over and over again. Because um, it adds like one additional planet. Although I guess there's like little sub planets or like little sub stories within, you know, the one planet as well. Um. One of the main problems I'm running into in this game is that the story for this DLC is rather complex. And I keep having like five days in between every time that I play this game for like two hours. So <laughs> I, um, I've missed some of the subtlety and some of the nuances that they've tried adding into this campaign that do make it a bit more complex. But we haven't finished it yet. I don't know exactly how much longer we have remaining. All I hear is excuses, Loco. You're probably right. Okay, so. We have got the sealed vault that we ultimately need to fix. This is what we ultimately need to do. Thank you very much, Pyro Waffle. I was actually waiting for you to be here. Uh, we have to do two things. First off, we have to go through the fireplace, and then we have to go across that bridge. Um, there's there's basically two things that we've discovered after like a dozen hours of gameplay on how to solve certain vision problems. One of them is like inside of the vision, that is. One of the 
problems we can fix and one of the areas we can explore further is one where like these guys are having a party inside of the shed. If they see me, they, they take me and they kill me. Which is not great. Or I guess they blow out my candle. So I have to figure out a way to go through the fireplace. Yeah, I know I uh, I turned on the gamma as high as I could, mostly because I couldn't see anything anymore, and I was honestly getting a little bit frustrated. That was a good landing, right? Thank you, Echo Memory. <laughs> Are you roasting my piloting skills right now? Toxic. Fair, but toxic. I don't know what the best way is, though, to, um, like, make it past those guys. So there's a couple of guys basically having a party in the shed. One thing we did find out, and that's something I want to test, because I was thinking about this game earlier. Remember we saw that one vision about the grandpa New guy going Detected. into the exact same spot? Um, we, we saw this one vision where we saw this grandpa guy going into... I don't know, like, whatever it is we go into, right? Like that afterlife area, the vision area. And we found out that even though he died in the real world, he seemed to live on in the vision. I want to see if somehow, some way, because it's a fire, right? I want to see if somehow, some way, I can use the fire. I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm dumb. But I want to see if I can, like, I think I can hurt myself going into this fire right over here. Is this a dumb idea? This might be really fucking stupid. Okay. What happens if I stand in here until I die? Am I gonna die? Or will my flame go on? <gasps> Shit, that worked? I was gonna say, why did they show me that vision? There's no other reason for it. Oh god, okay. I've had many theories in this game that make absolutely no sense and that never worked out. So wait, what if I get grabbed now? Do I wake up? Yeah, I might be stuck here now. Yeah, these visions is the reason why I decided to turn on the, um, uh, the gamma like this. So there's a shortcut area over here. That we found. And then over there in the distance, you see that green light? That's another one of our buddies. So now I can't wake up though. Because if I wake up right now, I die. Right? Yeah, so I think your body, your body dies, but like your consciousness gets, or consciousness gets chipped over to wherever this is. So that is a thing though, that is a feature. So these guys are having this party in this like shed. Um, I'm not exactly sure what they're doing there. But we saw in another vision that they walked through the fireplace. Dude, I can't believe that worked. Sick. When you do figure things out in this game, though, you do feel kind of smart. Okay, hold up. We're just gonna try. So as soon as I step in, the door closes. And the party stops. I'm a bit of a party pooper. So that's the fireplace right over there. I gotta somehow go around. 
There's a whole load of them over here, though. I don't know how, how this works. I want to try and see if I can run around them. Oh, I don't know. So what? now what? Okay, now we're just dead. Now we're just dead. Okay. Um... You know how that fireplace we were just in? It breaks after like 10 minutes when the f when like the dike does like the when the the, the dike the well the whatever the the dam the be the dam breaks and you wake up. What happens? I think that might be the solution. I'm not sure. But what happens if I'm on the other side while the dam is broken? Like while the dam is Do I die again? Cuz I'm already dead. I'm already on the other side of the vision. What happens to the guys in the Use vision after the dam breaks? Detected. We normally don't know. Months of awesomeness. Yo! Thank you, Master Logo. What's going Less on, Invisi? Three. Exactly. I think it's worth the test. 